Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Ronald friend from Windsor to come to you. And I really did appreciate her speech and the reflections on the good work being done in the Human Rights Committee. Uh, uh, it's a very key point, and I just wanted to know if you would amplify on it, on the conditions with which one would ever want to close an embassy, given the diplomatic benefits to fight for human rights by having a presence on the ground. Honourable Member for Windsor Tecumseh. Thank you very much, uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. We have so many knowledgeable people who have established relationships um, in troublesome places and troublesome countries. And when you have, uh, you, when you have heated moments or uh, threats of escalating conflict, there's no denying that you need to have safety. But there, it, there is so much in place that we, you have to gain back once you close an office. You are severing very valuable ties um, that can be used in the future. And it, it is invaluable. I'm not... Uh, I... I suspect that this motion today is meant to be toxic so that we are talking about these things and that we can be um, highlighting the, these wedge issues. But what it boils down to is we need our diplomatic ties, our offices in every place where there is a, where there is a human rights abuse in order to support people and to engage engage these countries, these sovereign nations don't care what we think if they don't have a relationship with us. And how are we ever supposed to advance human rights with a country that, that doesn't have a relationship with us? What do they care what we think? That's the trick. That's the art of diplomacy. And to have some kind of a presence in these countries, there are a, a lot of different ways that we can do that with consulate offices. They don't have to be done in one cookie-cutter fashion.